Hey, I'm Kevin Siebert, former world boxing champion and Charlotte only world champion. I'd like to say hello to you all and thank you all for tuning in. He has something I want that I think really I deserve. He earned it, but I deserve it more because of the fact that when I had the title before, I defended it like a true champ against any and everybody. In the red corner, he's wearing the red trunks with the white trim. Weighing in at 116 and one half pounds, all the way from Charlotte, North Carolina. He brings 25 wins, 19 by knockout, and 13 losses. The number one challenger and the former IBF Bantamweight champion, here is Kelvin the Raging Seabrook. Seabrook. Um, tell you a little bit more about myself. I'm not just a world champion because there is no world champion for God. I'm a people champion. Yeah, this is Kelvin Seabrook, former world boxing champion. During my lifetime, I had some rough times and good times. But during the rough times, I was here in Charlotte, um, right here off Davidson, and I'm on Caldwell right now. This is the house I used to live in uh, growing up. And, um, I want you all to know that you know, it's a pretty good place, but you know, we had our ups and downs and in this house, going through what I went through. If you notice, there's a church in front of this house that I used to go to, called Cotton King Center. They, are, they had the center that, um, that was hooked on to the church, the Church of St. Michael's. I have uh, church. I used to, I uh, my mom, you know, there was a time when I stepped down here. I stepped down here. I got up in town to go to school, to go home and get ready for school. You know, I stepped down the steps. There was a dog down here, nobody could see me, you know. And uh, there were times when my mom, she thought I was in the bedroom, but I was here. And we got up and because she I know I didn't put a lot of pressure on her because of uh, her having cancer and everything. And she had her own bedroom and we had our own bedroom, so you know, and then I didn't know if you know that the house I can I had three different sides, I had the front door, the side door and the back door, so I had a, a really good night out of the house and get back in. So I can't get to you know, the school. Couple of years it's been hard to cry tears. I've been so many places. I seen so many faces. Thank God it's a blessing. Thank God it's a blessing. I'm here. It's a blessing. I'm here. Cause in 92, at five years old, I had the blues. I saw my mama dead on I when this new who. But it hurt me and my brothers thinking about the others who needed someone to comfort them too. I spent a lot of days and nights trying to get it right. The pain I gotta live with for the rest of my life. The you know, every now and again, I come through here and take a look at it. To always remind myself of where I come from and what I went through and where I am now. Going through what I went through, I was supposed to get me hit by a car and everything. Um, it opened my eyes to a lot of things. I had played with a friend of mine, 